What's up, campers? Welcome to the Counselor, uh, Talent, Counselor Show. Talent Show, presented by Peanut M and M's. Peanut M and M's—they're delicious and crunchy. They have peanuts and in them. If you're allergic to peanuts, I am sorry, but keep watching anyway. Um, first up, what's our first video? Okay, our first video is from Jazzy, and she's gonna be singing a song with her little brother, right? Yeah. I don't know what song it is. July by Noah Cyrus. July by Noah Cyrus, one of my favorites. Um, so let's get into it. Hey campers, it's Jazzy, and this is my little brother Chris, and we're gonna be singing the song for you guys. I've been holding my faith, I've been counting to ten over something you said. I've been holding back tears, you've been holding back tears all alone in your bed. That Thank was you. amazing. Thank you so that much. little brother of yours is a wizard on the guitar, and you're all, you're all right also. Okay, great. So <laughs> next we're going to have Tiny, because he's just so talented. We're going to have Tiny showing you how to cook some mac and cheese. Mm -hmm, There's some time. nice... Actually, I'll let you see for yourself. Here's Tiny. What's up, campers? It's your boy, Tiny. Um, my talent, or one of my many talents that I'm going to be displaying today, is that I'm actually a five-star master mac and cheese chef. So let's just get into it. Um, we got Kraft mac and cheese today. I'm usually an Ann's guy, but they didn't have it at my local grocery store. So Kraft is also good. All right, we got it open. First step is actually to turn on your stove. And that clicky sound just means that your stove is trying really hard. Then turn on, turn on fire, and then we're gonna let the water boil. It usually takes a couple minutes. So. When it's super hot, you definitely want to be very careful if you're trying this at home. And we're gonna toss in the macaroni, the full box, because I'm a hungry, hungry hippo for seven to eight minutes. I already knew that. I just had to confirm. <laughs> Here we go. All right, that was a clean pour, nailed it. And then we're gonna, we're just gonna stir it occasionally for the seven to eight minutes. Wait a couple minutes. And then we'll just keep stirring it for seven to eight minutes. And that's that for now. All right, we're back. It's been about eight minutes and the pasta is pretty much done. Turn your stove to off, because we're gonna be safe, because you don't wanna leave the stove on, that'd be bad. And then we're gonna strain it by getting, we're gonna get the water all out. So we're gonna walk over to the sink. And if you don't already have a strainer on your head, you can probably find one maybe in your kitchen. If not, it probably should be on your head by now. Um, so let's hope I do this. Again. Nailed it again, perfect. Um, that's just what a five-star chef does. Uh, so we're gonna just give it like a couple seconds to let the water get out. Looks like it's all. So now the macaroni has to go back in the pot because we got some extra mixing to do. So this is a tough one. Gotta grab the strainer with one hand and use your wooden spoon. It can be, it doesn't have to be wood, it could be something else. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Now comes the fun part. Ooh, we got, we've got a little bit of spillage. Um, if your counter is clean, you can just go ahead and we got, we got our cheese powder packet from Kraft. Kraft makes a really good, um, I don't think it's organic, but I think it is a cheese powder. So <laughs> we're gonna crack that open. No scissors required. You can just tear it easily. Let's get a close up of the bag there. 
Yeah, it's nice and orange. Okay, so we're gonna pour that in there and then we're gonna mix it in. All right, so let's get a close up of this mac and cheese here. Uh, uh, this is a hot tip that, this is an inside look from the Five Star Chef. Not many people know how to do this. Four tablespoons of butter, it adds all the difference. Some people say the butter is bad for you, but those people never had any fun. So we're gonna toss in this chunk of butter and that's gonna add all the creaminess you could ever want. <laughs> we're just gonna mix it up. It might take a couple minutes, um, but it should all eventually get mixed up in there. The butter will get nice and melty, get nice and creamy. Let's get a close of that sound. Listen, listen to that sound. If, you're, if your mac and cheese doesn't sound like this, you might not be doing it right. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> the perfect sound. Perfect. Let's hope the microphone picked that up because that's a beautiful sound. Uh, this, could take, this could take a couple minutes um, to get all the cheese sauce mixed in. We're back. We got, so uh, another option you can do along with the butter is a little tiny bit of milk. I am lactose intolerant, but we're going to go with it anyways. So we're going to go with a quarter cup. This is a half cup. I couldn't find the quarter cup measuring thing. So we're just gonna spill this up like what I guess to be halfway. Yeah, when you're experienced as I am, you'll get the feel of it. Yeah, there we go. Now the, now the cheese powder will get nice and liquidy. Not too liquidy though. If you had too much milk, then you just have milk cheese soup and it's not very good in my opinion, but I guess teach them. All right, the butter's melting nice and good. I call this another smashing success from the best mac and cheese chef around. That, that would be me. Okay. I'm the best. Okay, uh, this is the, the, my favorite part of making mac and cheese is the final part, and that's tasting it and eating it. Yeah, uh, per usual, I did a great job. That's why it's my talent. Um, I think if you follow my steps, you'll be eating yummy mac and cheese just like me. Thank you, thank you. I don't know who that guy was in the video, but he sure was handsome. And really good at making mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So next, after that really incredible mac and cheese video, we're going to have some counselors and their dogs. Please welcome Bibble, Hedge, Pete, and Milkshake. Hi, everyone. My name is Bibble, and my talent is how cute my dog is. All right. Ready, Pinyang? Oh, oh, oh. Shake. <laughs> All right. Oh. at Kesem at home this summer and see everyone virtually. Go get it! Good girl! All right, one more spin. Yes, ma'am. Good girl, Vinay. All right, bye, everyone. Hey, everyone. This is my dog, Maisie. I'm outside playing a little bit. Go, Maisie, go! She's 13 years old and she's going to try to do some tricks for you today. So she's already sitting, so I think that's a couple points for talent there. Uh, this is my favorite trick she does. Say shake. Good girl, nice to meet you. Okay. Say down. Good girl. Okay, you ready? This one's really fun. Down. Run over. Wow, good job. Okay, and my other favorite trick she does 
Okay, up. And two more. Up. Up. Come here. Wow, those were some cute dogs, those am I right? Those were some incredible dogs. Incredible dogs. Mm -hmm. I wish I could, was as talented as those dogs. Me too. Not I'm quite. Not. Maybe someday. Maybe. Your mac and cheese wasn't that bad. Thank you. That's high praise. Appreciate it. Okay, moving on to an M&M &M break. An M&M &M break. Reminding you that we are sponsored by sponsored peanut M&M's. Sponsored by M &M's. peanut M&M's. Not regular M&M's. No. Unless you're unless you're allergic to peanuts, in which yeah, case yeah, regular is fine. Then regular is fine. Okay. If you're not allergic to peanuts, then we're not sponsored by regular M&Ms. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> I already had one before, so <laughs> we'll suck my throat. Mm. So next, we're gonna have Jeff and Dilla. A peanut M&M a day keeps the doctor away. I was in the middle of a sentence. Sorry. Next, we're gonna have Jeff and Dilla doing their amazing talent of. Boogie boarding. Boogie boarding. Hi guys, it's Dilla and Jeff, and today we're going to show you our gnarly boogie boarding skills. Yeah, that was super impressive. I've never done anything like that. Uh, those waves were absolutely mammoth. massive. Um, that was honestly super dangerous. So thanks for putting your lives on the line for the talent show. Our entertainment. Yeah, yeah really, big time. Mm -hmm. I was very entertained, so it was worth it. Next up, we have Mud Pie doing her signature thing, making making mud pies. A mud pie. Yeah. Harder than it looks, folks. Hi, I'm Mud Pie, and my talent is making mud pies. First, you take the dirt and you put it in the pan, then you add the water, stir it together, put it in your mold, and voila! Boy oh boy, did that mud pie look tasty. I think that would make for a mighty fine dessert after some of my famous mac and cheese. Would you, would you agree or disagree? Um, I'm gonna go with no comment on that one. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I don't know why you don't have a comment. I mean, how can you not have an opinion on something that is so polar as a... That's too big okay, so next <laughs> up we have Ruby doing some <laughs> special tricks. Hi, you guys. It's Ruby. Happy testing at home. Um, in case any of you guys didn't know, I used to be a dancer. And so for my talent, I'm going to try to do different skills that I used to have as a dancer, and we're going to see if I can still do them. What's going on? What's going on? 
Ding. Next up, we got Spork and his dog, who just might save his life. Hey everyone, I'm here at the beautiful Lake Sunapee. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my talent of being able to jump off an elevated surface into the water and do a front flip, and also my dog's talent of being able to save me and her lifeguarding abilities. So I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you guys are having an awesome summer, and an even better talent show. For our helpers, we got Nala, Paisley, and Rookie, and then obviously my lovely mom. Thank you guys so much. I hope everyone's having a great week, and I can't wait to continue it. I don't know about you, but my dog definitely cannot do that. Uh, yeah, not exactly. My dogs can barely swim at all, let alone pull me out of uh, a lake with massive waves and really massive rough waves. water. Yeah. <laughs> so that was quite impressive. Uh, next up, we got skillet and bones and they're gonna do the cupid shuffle but with a little twist hi i'm bones hi i'm skillet and we, we are, are going, going to do, do the cupid, cupid shuffle, shuffle. Those two can really stand on their hands and move side to side. They really can. <laughs> <laughs> better than I. Definitely sure. better than I. So next up we got Shep, Shep and his little cousin. But what's not so little is this cousin's soccer skills. Check it out. I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm <on that. laughs> What's up, Kesson fam? Chef here. This is my little cousin Luke from France. He's gonna show you cool soccer tricks for the uh, talent show. Bonjour, my name is Luke. I'm from Grenoble. Woo! Woo! No! Oh. You're gonna cat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so I thought that was pretty sweet when he showed me the other day and I want to share with you guys all for the talent show. Um, sorry I couldn't be at camp this year. I miss you all. I love you guys. Uh, I hope the rest of camp is going well. Uh, enjoy the rest of the talent show and I'll see y'all soon. Those were some impressive skills from French Luke. And what was almost equally as impressive was Shep's ability to stand there and watch. Fantastic. Truly fantastic. Next up, we're going to have Rocky doing a cool, awesome dance for you guys. Hi, y'all. My name is Rocky, and this year for the talent show, I'm going to show you guys a dance that my friend actually made so you can have fun at the dance party this week. Now let's begin. All right, so what you're first going to want to do is you're going to want to align your feet and your knees, like so. I like to pretend I'm a mermaid jumping around on land to help me figure it out. Next, you're going to slightly bend your knees, as demonstrated in the video. Lastly, you're going to do what the great SpongeBob SquarePants said and bring it around town. Bring it around town. And so, it should look like this. Now, I should mention that this dance has taken over my life. For example, I perform the cling while I'm disinfecting my hands with hand sanitizer. While I'm enjoying a book. I even perform the cling while I'm sleeping. Rest up, Rocky. The cling is enjoyable with all music. For example, some of the songs that parents listen to. But my favorite variation of the cling is one that can be done to some good old cowboy music. Yeehaw! Take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. Hat is mad at black. Got the boots is black to match. Riding on a horse. Ha, you can whip your horse. I've been in the valley. You ain't been up off that porch now. Can't nobody tell. I hope you all enjoy learning how to do the cling. Now till next time, Rocky out, dab on. You just gotta love some Lil Nas X, don't for you? For sure, for sure. You also gotta love Rocky for teaching us those insane dance moves. <laughs> I just hope I'm good enough to handle it. I agree. Next up, we're gonna have Cliff, and she's going to be watering her plant babies. Hi, I'm Clifford, and my talent is watering my plant. The first step is to put in your Crocs. Make sure they're in sports mode because we take our talents very seriously. Then you have to pick the best cup for the job. This is my plant. It's a fiddle leaf fig tree. His name is Gideon. <laughs> And that's how I water my plant. Thanks for that, Cliff. Next up, we're gonna have Greens talking about some of the stuff that she's good at. Hey guys, I'm Greens, and three things that I'm super talented at, couldn't even pick one. First of all, I can travel around the world in less than five seconds. Secondly, I'm the best rapper in the game. Woo 
lastly, and most importantly, I am your biggest fan. No, scratch that, scratch that. Your biggest, biggest fan. Those were some punny jokes. Would you agree? Absolutely. Very funny. You know what else is punny? m and <laughs> Next up, we have Fresh, the TikTok king himself, teaching us how to juggle. Take it away. Hello, friends. My name is Fresh, and my talent. Whoa, Fresh, that was pretty cool. Super cool, my guy. <laughs> uh, this next one is near and dear to my heart because this is a talent from all of the counselors over in Unit 3. And I think it's a bit of a showstopper, but I'll let you be the judge. All right, we're recording in three, two, one. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't so She was looking kind of and her thumb and on her forehead. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Did it make sense not to live for fun? Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. Hey, now. Girl, stop by. Put the game on. Go play. Hey, now. Hey, now. Start. Get to go on. It's all better in school. Thanks, Unit 3. That was pretty impressive. You're welcome. <laughs> Next up, we have Unit 2. We're Unit 2, and this is our talent. Go! We got some real athletes over there in Unit 2. Very impressive, everybody. Good work. For our final talent of the evening, we're going to have my personal favorite, Admin. And I'll just let you watch it. Hey guys, Spork here. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing the challenge of seeing who can eat the peanut butter and jelly the fastest. Hey CKUR, this is Hedgehog. I'm gonna be making a pb and sandwich as fast as I can. Hello, Alaska here. I. I'm about to embark on an adventure of making and eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich as fast as I can. Hey guys, it's Pip, and I'm going to be racing to make and eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hi, I'm Clifford. I'm going to be partaking in this peanut butter and jelly challenge of making a PB&J as fast as you can and eating it as fast as you can. Um, the way to do it, we're going to go, all the ingredients are away right now, we're going to have to get all the ingredients, make the peanut butter jelly. Um, all of my ingredients are still put away in the, in the kitchen, um, I pinky promise. All the ingredients are put away, which is great, that's a part of the rules. Cut it into triangles, 
and then I'm going to run over there and I'm going to try and eat it as fast as possible. Um, I don't know, I'm so nervous for this. Okay. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little shaky. Okay. I think I might set a new world record. I'm not feeling great right now, but uh, champions don't make excuses, so. Um, should be a fun time. I definitely believe in myself. Without further ado, here we go. My stopwatch. I'm gonna start it and then we're just gonna go and hope that it goes well. Three, two, one. Start. Go! 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 It's perfect. I don't, need, I don't even know if I have enough bread. of new one. But I can't untie it. Two slices. That's what's important. Um, then we're gonna get some two nice pieces of bread, really beautiful pieces of bread. Oh. Got the jelly, I use grape jelly. I do endorse blackberry fruit spread. Uh, Spork said he likes to do a good two to one ratio of peanut butter to, gel to jelly. So we're just gonna. The key is to do two parts peanut butter to one part jelly. It's strict two to one ratio. Anyone who tells you anything different is not correct. So I do two to one, but like two jelly, one peanut butter. So take it or leave it. Oh, the ratios are so uneven. Okay. Yeah, they're here. I've made a mess. <laughs> Slices together. Sandwich. Now your plate. The best and only way to cut it in diagonal pieces. Okay. really a pretty sandwich. All right, and now we're gonna run over to the table. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. We're moving to the table. Oh, and now, and now, and now, okay. I'm just gonna eat it now. Oh wait, I need to fuck with it. Oh, it's not okay, we're at 1.5. Okay. I don't have water. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. 
the jelly bangs. <laughs> it's really good. I think I got some extra big bread. <laughs> I think I have a gluten allergy. Let's see who can beat that. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. We really appreciate you checking out our talents, and I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you guys so much. It was awesome to have you here tonight with us. We cannot wait to see you all's talents. I cannot wait is right. I am foaming at the mouth <laughs> for some camper talents. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> it's going to be dope. It's going to be really awesome. So make sure you get those sent in to us. All right, campers, see you tomorrow. Peace.